So just walking through the lobby of this beautiful hotel preparing for the room review, the building was constructed in the 1830s and was designed by architect Arthur David. Previously it was known as the City Exchange, the St. Louis, and then finally the Royal, eventually acquired by the Omni Hotels and Resorts Group. It opened as a 346 room hotel in 1960 and its Rib Room restaurant has been a New Orleans institution with its own loyal following for nearly as long. Hello everyone, Marsh W13 here with another hotel review and this week we are in New Orleans in the heart of the historic French Quarter at a hotel called the Omni Royal Orleans. We've booked a premier king room on the sixth floor, room 652 to be exact. Let's check it out. Now the Omni Royal Orleans is located on Saint Louis Street near Royal, just a couple of blocks away from Jackson Square. And this is a premier room, which is a step up from the petite courtyard and deluxe rooms. And we'll start our tour with the closet, which is just on the left as you enter the room through these double doors. And we see a rather utilitarian sort of functional space here perhaps not the most attractive part of the room and right off the bat we notice some wear and tear on the ironing board on this uh, fold-out luggage stand but at least it has an iron and ironing board which may not be standard for accommodations here in the French Quarter we have uh, a decent amount of rack space but not necessarily an overabundance of hangers. Nonetheless, the hangers, although like other parts of the room we've seen thus far, perhaps have seen better days, they are of high quality. You get a little bag for your laundry and it looks like there are a number of services at your disposal. These are nice. Again, this is part of the Omni Hotels group, and the bathrobes are monogrammed to match. And otherwise, the space is certainly sufficient for my needs, and we have a relatively spacious safe. And now for the bathroom, just adjacent to the closet. And the layout is interesting here. There's actually quite a bit of counter space here with only one basin. Interesting. And you notice some attention to detail, some flourishes that you may not expect, like this uh, Kleenex dispenser where the, the Kleenex is or tissue is fashioned in the style of a bow tie. Bath amenity wise, if this is the brand that I'm thinking of, Nest, that is quite a premium brand. They have a line of candles that sell for 30, 40 bucks a pop. And I think this may be indeed the one. So, haven't tried this yet, but uh, looks to be premium to say the least. And plenty of mirror space, vanity mirror, and uh, mirrors lining both walls here. And with respect to, sorry, I just I've broken something here. But uh, with respect to the shower and tub, again, nothing terribly special, but uh, certainly, I think, meets ex expectations for a, a three and a half to four star hotel in the French Quarter here in New Orleans. All right, now for the main event, we enter the primary living space. And again, this is a premier room, which is the highest non-suite tier of room as I recall 
And as you can see, you don't get a lot of living space, but again, we're here in the historic French Quarter where space may be at a premium. And certainly everything looks sort of period accurate and consistent with a historic New Orleans French Quarter hotel. And we already notice some modern touches. There's a sign here indicating the presence of a couple of electrical outlets, which should come in handy. It's always good when those are strategically placed. The chair is just about what you would expect from a hotel like this. Certainly not ergonomically friendly, so you may want to be aware of that if you come here to work. But I assume most people come here to play, particularly as we stand here in mid-February, two weeks before Fat Tuesday. Decent sized Panasonic TV, probably around 40 inches. Plastic cups with an ice bucket. Everything looks sanitary. Not sure if there is an ice machine on this floor. We have a mini fridge that is very cool to the touch and it is the sort that you have to stock yourself which is the, the kind that I prefer. So that's good news. Everything functioning as one would expect it. A Cuisinart coffee maker with uh, the trimmings. Looks like some products from Wolfgang Puck, which is interesting. And then we have three drawers, relatively deep. And adjacent to the window here, and we'll check out the view in a moment, is a kind of lounge chair with a very generously sized ottoman. I really like this space. I like the artwork, which of course is French Quarter themed. There was another piece hanging here above the desk area. But I spent about uh, 30 minutes in this chair earlier and I can uh, vouch for the fact that it is extremely, extremely comfortable. We have more outlets here, bedside, that are built into the table. I think quite strategically and unobtrusively placed and uh, kind of a standard clock radio. Well, with respect to the linens, everything looks top notch. I would definitely say based on touch alone that this is on the firm side, probably a seven on a scale of 0 to 10, with 10 being the most firm. And there are plenty of pillows, both decorative and then behind the decorative pillows, you have two very generously sized uh, pillows on each side of the bed. So that's definitely pleasing. Now that we've explored the room in its entirety, I suppose all that's left is the view. And if you'll recall, this hotel is located on Saint Louis Street. And so, perched here high atop the sixth floor, one really has a magnificent view. Now it's dominated by the structure just across the street, which is actually the Louisiana Supreme Court. But if we look down this way, towards the Mississippi River. I believe two blocks down is Decatur Street. So if you were to go down there and make a left in another two blocks, you would hit uh, Jackson Square. And then of course, in the other direction, you would find Bourbon Street. And that does conclude our tour. So what do I think about the Omni Royal Orleans Hotel, well, you can't beat the location. And although it does show some wear and tear, it delivers where it counts, which is comfort, 
elegance and convenience. So I'm going to give it a thumbs up and I look forward to hearing your thoughts. So thanks again for joining me on this tour of the Omni Royal Orleans Hotel in a premier king room on the sixth floor overlooking Saint Louis Street in the historic French Quarter of New Orleans. Until next time, safe travels, Marsh W13 out.